upholster some panels. What's up, everybody? All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Cool. A lot has been going on. A lot. As finally promised, we are gonna finally jump into the upholstery. We are gonna start with the, what I'm considering the simplest panels. I don't know what I'm doing. Why'd you do that? That's not a good idea. So I'm gonna start with the easiest stuff. I'd show you the old ones, but they're kind of ripped apart at this point. So the old ones basically had a speaker in the one side of it, and then on the other side of that panel had a cutout. And there was like this real long, deep shelf that was pretty useless. Like it was long and it was awkward and it was a super deep pocket. So basically it was a place for stuff to get lost. When I tore the boat apart, I found so much crap back there. It was ridiculous. I didn't want to put it back together that way because it's kind of a waste of space. So I started thinking about stuff and what I wanted to do. That's honestly kind of what delayed this for as long as it did because I had to make some design decisions before I could go ahead and start making these panels. So because of the design choice I made with this thing, I couldn't use the old ones as a template, but not that big of a deal because like I said, these are pretty simple panels. So with that being said, let's go make them. So for this project, I decided to use something I've never done before, and that's the Total Boat Thixo Epoxy. You may have seen this on other YouTubers, it's kind of been popular lately, I think Total Boat's been getting their foot in the sponsoring pool. And uh, a lot of people have been using this stuff, it's basically epoxy that comes in a caulking gun, and you can squeeze it out and the two parts mix in the nozzle as they come out. And I bought a tube of this last fall, and it's been in the garage. It's been in the correct storage uh, conditions, so I wasn't concerned about using it since it was a little bit old. But, um, it was a warm day, so I decided to use it without heating it up or anything, because I've heard if it's too thick, or if it's too cold, it'll be kind of hard to kind of get out of the caulking gun. So I did have a couple of problems with the epoxy tube. Apparently it wasn't warm enough. It was coming out of the caulking gun, so I was like, okay, this is working. So I used it to join the two pieces and then I shot some brad nails in there to just hold it until the epoxy dried. But after I went to take the caulking gun, or the tube out of the caulking gun to put it back in storage or whatever, I could not get the thing off of the caulking gun for the life of me. I was like, what is going on? And I tried pulling the plunger back and when it popped out, Finally, after wrestling with it, I realized that it took so much pressure that it actually broke the rod, like the plunger on the end of the caulking gun rod, and actually was just pushing the plunger into the tube and it ruined the tube. So, so it ruined my caulking gun and ruined a pretty much full tube of Thixo epoxy, so. <laughs>
Alright, so that is coat number one of the urethane, and I think I decided I'm going to go with this top side paint, only because it dries faster. Other than that, there's really no other good reason, so I'm going to let this sit up overnight and cure, and tomorrow night I'll come down and get the first coat of paint on, and then we'll be ready for foam and upholstery. So it's happening. It is happening. So after the waterproofing was done, it was finally time, finally time to vinyl something. Let's do it! So as I mentioned before, since I did not use the old one as a template, I couldn't use the vinyl as a template. So I basically had to start from scratch. And what I did was I took the new waterproof panels up to my table I kind of set up near my sewing machine. And I basically just used that as the template. So I basically laid it down, traced around it, and then... No, I didn't. What did I do? I think I just laid it down and then traced it. You'll see. Watch the video. After the vinyl was laid out, I cut it out with scissors and then decided how I was going to sew it together. So what I decided to do was a flat filled seam, I think it's called. So I put some double-sided basting tape is quarter inch wide between the two layers facing each other. I ran it through the sewing machine once. And then I folded the one side over and then ran it through a sewing machine again. So I'm putting a stitch through three layers of vinyl. So it's going through, is it three or four? Why would you do that? That's not a good idea. No, just three. So uh, I'm gonna draw you something. So if this is one fabric, let's just say like that. And I had run the stitch through here. What you wanna do is basically fold it back on itself like that so now you have your stitches here but then I'm gonna come back through with the sewing machine and put a stitch through here so you're actually giving a lot of extra strength to that stitch also because there's basting tape in here it's gonna make that seem very waterproof and in addition to that I oriented my panels this way so this is up so if you get any water running down here, it would literally have to go uphill, get through that basting tape to get behind the vinyl. So should be a very waterproof seam and that's why I believe it's actually used very commonly for canvas covers and stuff like that because it's very waterproof. But I didn't want to put the piping back in. That's kind of a personal choice. I don't like the look of the piping that was in there originally. So I decided since I wasn't going to do that, I wanted the seam to at least look a little nicer than just a regular stitched seam. So I decided to do this just to dress it up and I used a red thread, which looks kind of nice. So now that everything is sewn together, it's time to put it on the wood. On, on the wood, that sounds dirty. It's now time to apply it to its embodiment. And that's where this giant failure comes in. Don't use this. Or use it and then find out very quickly that it's not gonna work.
I learned pretty quickly that I was going to need something a little heavier duty. Now, if you're gonna upholster one boat and hopefully never do it again, I highly recommend this. This is a Milwaukee, no, it's Harbor Freight brand. It's like $24. Get that, it works awesome. And the best part is it works with the same staples I bought for that gun, which are these T50 stainless steel. Now, you're finally wondering to yourself, but Jared, all of this, and you haven't even shown us the panel yet? Well, you're gonna have to wait till next, no, I'm just kidding. Let me grab them. Okay, that's cool. So, this is what I went with. I'm hoping this fits in the screen. So here you can see that flat felled seam I'm talking about with the red stitching. I think it looks pretty dope as f And this is what I went with. There's a couple of reasons. Again, I didn't like the cutout that was there before. It was roughly the same size as this, but there was a shelf behind it that just went on for like two feet and you could barely get in it. It was shallower than this. So it was like basically big enough to just get your hand in. So it's like, what do I put papers back there? It's not, it's not a filing system. So, this is what I went with, for two main reasons. One, it's easy. It's a glove box, it locks, it comes with keys. How simple is that? And, super cheap cup holders. Come on. I actually, honest, honest to God, I've been trying to figure out an easy way to get cup holders up in the captain's chair area so I can drink and drive, but there was really nothing coming to me, so it was like, this was a no-brainer. So that's it. Oh, and I did put this in, which is, I bought these a while ago, I forgot I had them, honestly. It's a waterproof 12-volt uh, outlet. I was actually gonna put a USB there because it's like, nobody even uses regular car chargers anymore. They're all like, just bring a USB cord and you're good. But I do have a 12 volt um, air pump for like inner tubes and stuff. So I wanted to at least have one of these. Um, that in my head unit I'm putting in has a USB port on it. I gotta tell you, I'm really happy with how this turned out for especially being my first upholstered panel I've ever done. Um, there's a couple things as expected that didn't turn out absolutely perfect. Like there's some wrinkles up here. I might be able to get those out with a heat gun. And I've also been told just sitting out in the sun will kind of stretch the vinyl and help wrinkles and stuff like that go away. I was able to hide most of the stuff pretty good. Um, there's a little bit of a bulge down here because I put some foam in around the corner before I wrapped it in vinyl just because that area tends to get banged into a lot. Oh wait, no it doesn't. I don't know what I did that for. Why would you do that? That's not a good idea. So that is it. I'm super happy. They turned out really cool. These have to go on after the side panels, which I haven't even really started, except for I cut some wood out for the one side. Uh, we're getting close. It's getting warm out. I'm running out of time. So side panels are probably gonna be next. I've already started tearing apart a front seat here. This is the very front bow cushion, just to kind of see, ow, son of a, just to see how it's made and it's, a little more complicated than I thought it was gonna be, but I think it'll be all right. So I think that's really all I'm gonna show for this one, guys. I mean, I'm no expert at all at sewing. I mean, I am happy with that, how that turned out, so fuck it, I guess I'm an expert. No, seriously. I, I don't know if you guys wanna see like actual sewing or me showing you what to do, but to be honest with you, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing what I've seen on YouTube on other people's videos, so. It's not a good idea. So let me know down in the comments if you guys want more details on how I did these panels, how I'm sewing stuff, the sewing machine I have, the thread I'm using, the vinyl I'm using, that kind of stuff. Let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments. Just let me know. And then don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with your friends, hit that notification bell because I said so and Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.